Stress can be caused by emotional problems as well as physical ones. Emotional stress can come from job strain, job loss, and uh, any kind of associated financial strain, especially in the current economic crisis. In many other situations such as marital or relationship problems, and physical stress is often caused by things we do to ourselves, such as uh, not getting enough sleep, uh, extreme sports, too much caffeine or alcohol consumption, or even untreated pain. So whatever the cause, stress can result in increased production of a hormone from the adrenal glands, and this hormone is called cortisol. Cortisol is supposed to prepare the body for fight or flight in its normal response to a sign of danger. And when, uh, but when the stressor doesn't go away, this cortisol production stays high for too long and starts to affect many body functions including reproductive, thyroid, and even immune systems. And cortisol also increases the release of glucose from liver which in a fight or flight situation uh, would provide muscles with more energy to run from danger. However, in a chronic stress situation when our muscles don't need that extra glucose, this can in fact lead to insulin resistance as the pancreas eventually becomes unable to produce enough insulin to clear excess glucose from the bloodstream. Similarly to chronic stress, depression also causes changes in our hormone levels, leading to an overall hormone imbalance. This in turn can decrease body's immunity, affect changes in bone metabolism, and cause metabolic conditions that lead to cardiovascular dysfunction. Insulin resistance and an excess of glucose in blood can ultimately lead to development of diabetes and or heart disease. And stress and depression both have been linked with development of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. The hormonal and metabolic disturbances seen in both stress and depression result in inflammation and other factors that can affect cardiovascular health. Hormone balance in addition to a healthy diet and exercise is a critical part of the answer. Hormones affect everyday health and wellness by interacting with every single cell inside our bodies. And if these are not properly balanced, a negative ripple effect is created, thereby disrupting overall homeostasis, resulting in disturbed body processes. And that is why testing and monitoring your hormone balance is essential uh, to keeping the hormone levels of the body in proper balance within the normal ranges, uh, which consequently helps in reducing our risk of getting diagnosed with uh, conditions like heart disease and diabetes.